Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. You can tell by the color of his shirt and hat that Wesley Knutson is a Minneapolis Moline fan through and through. It's a 1962 G706. Uh, that was the first year that the 706 was made. Um, it was the first uh, 100 horsepower tractor that Moline built. It's got an Elwood front end under it. It's the only year they used that Elwood was 1962, 63 to uh, G706s were changed to a Coleman. For the first day, it was the big top of the line horsepower tractor. They didn't make them any bigger than that at the time. Didn't see many of them in the row crop country. It was your Tilly's tractor. We basically, mostly the weak country. Although collectors affectionately use the term mini-mo, there's nothing mini about the engine in this tractor. The beefy six-cylinder G-Series were some of the largest and most powerful made by the Minneapolis Moline Company. The Moline engines were noted for being a slow-running engine. They turned over at uh, 1,800 RPM under load. They were a big engine, long-life engine. Um, Moline was, this is an LP version, which may have some lean, was uh, big into the LP uh, tractor on the may have some lean side. They uh, pretty much kind of was one of the first ones that had the LPs out. At the time, the LP was uh, at an economical fuel to buy. Although the Minneapolis Moline Company was based in Wesley's home state of Minnesota, he still had to travel out of state to track down this beautiful brute. Seen an ad in the paper, um, that's how I got that one. Um, it come out of South Dakota. Uh, the guy had it for sale, just called him up and ended up making a deal with him. Well, most of my tractors, I never went look, out looking for them. You just, you know, it, them things happen. You show up at the right place at the right time and or see the right ad and that's how a lot of mine have come about. I mean the ba basic tractor was in pretty decent shape. Front end was bad under it. Uh, the basic tractor, the motor, transmission rear end were good, tin work was good, but that front end had to be totally gone through, replaced, rebuilt because they were too light so then there was they wore out easy. Well, that was their weak point. So they had to hunt around and find parts for it and get it put back together like it would come out originally. Wesley's attachment to Minneapolis Moline tractors began at an early age. And like many of those who've caught classic tractor fever, his red and gold collection just keeps growing. I just Kind of fell in love with them when I was a kid because my dad worked for the Minneapolis, local Minneapolis Moline dealer in the middle of the 1960s till Minneapolis Moline turned into white and then that's when he, the dealer closed up and that's when he quit working for him. But I got eight restored tractors and I got 31 tractors in my collection, running ones. I tell a lot of people, you know, I've bought two, it's like rabbits. And put them in the shed, come back one day and it was full. <laughs> you know, 